A Dean on the Word presents Mirror Mirror, the year of flourishing victoriously. James chapter 1, verse 22 through 25. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Mirror, mirror. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome St. Clair Carmichael. Feels so good to be home. What a show tonight. Oh, that was church. <laughs> oh, my bad. Hey, Cheers, how you doing? St. Clair, how you doing? Mirror, mirror. Truth revealer. How may I flourish more this year? <laughs> Just joking. Mirrors don't talk. <laughs> Dear, come closer. Don't be afraid. Come here. So I can see you clear. How may you flourish this year? Oh my. Have a seat. Wait. Sit down. I'm just playing around. Sit down. Is this real? I'm just playing around here. You're talking to me? I want for you to look at the book and read this scripture. It was set aside just for you. What is this? Begin. Um, James chapter 1, verse 22 through 25. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightforward forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetter hearer, but a doer of the word, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Stop. Mm -hmm. Do you not understand what you're reading? So, you're acting just like a Pharisee. Oh, a Pharisee? I just came from a wonderful service. Everybody loved me. Yes, everybody did love you. Look in the mirror, see what it says. The mirror's not going to lie to you. Not even a little bit? Not at all. <laughs> I am the I word, and the word is like a mirror. I want you to... Pay attention to what it says, for he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. I saw the way that you looked at the young lady in church. Oh, yes, the one that's eight months pregnant, getting ready to have a baby. And I heard your thoughts, mm -hmm. how you were condemning her for being pregnant out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. Your child is 28 years old. Mm -hmm. Did you forget? 
if you weren't married when you became pregnant with her? That was a long time ago. Mm. Mm. And what about the young lady who did not have any money to give? Why are you looking down your nose at her? Because she only had a dollar to give. You know she's not working. Well, I saw it Burger King the other day. How about you should be concentrating on doing the work. Be a doer of the work. Not just a hearer. I need for you to do the work. I need for you to be able to encourage others. I don't need for you to be trying to tear them down. I don't need for you to be looking down on people. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and preserves, being no hero who forgets, but a doer who acts. Do you understand what that means? Yes, yes, I do. You have plenty. You could have given that young lady $5. When I say be a doer of the word and not just a hero, you have an opportunity to go out and spread my word everywhere you go. You can go out and just talk about the good things. You can encourage others. You can pray for others. Those are things that you need strengthening in. You can stay in the word more than you do. Praise me. Love me as I love you. I thought I was doing all those things, have I not? Boy, no one would ever believe me talking to a mirror. And the mirror's talking to me. I saw you in church today. Yeah. Mm, do you not understand that I can understand what it is that you're thinking? I saw you when you looked at that young lady that was pregnant. I saw you passing judgment on her, talking about her in your mind about how she was pregnant, condemning her for her condition. How quickly you forget. That was you 28 years ago. You weren't married. Shh, can you keep it low, please? I know the neighbors to hear. Mm. What about the lady that didn't have a lot of money? I saw how you turned your nose up at her. She refuses to work. That's your assumption. You don't know. You don't know her situation. And it is not for you to be concerned about what she can or cannot do. I want you to go back. And I want you to look at you. We're going to go back and we're going to look at you. Me? Or he looks at himself and goes away at once, forgetting what he was like. That was you. Yes. And all of the faces and all the people that you were thinking. I say, do you not understand? For one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty and preserves, being no hero who forgets but a doer who acts. Yes. It is much easier for you to encourage a person. You never know what you do with your words when you speak negative, when you turn down people, when you look at them in the wrong manner. Yes. You were in such a hurry on your way to church today. You almost drove that person off the road. You scared them half to death. Well, I was trying to be on time. Stop being concerned about yourself, Arity. Think about the perfect law, the law of love. Yes. You asked how you can flourish in the year 2017. Yes, how may I flourish? You can flourish by being a doer of the word, encouraging others, teaching the word, telling everybody about the goodness of God, leading them into salvation. A doer? I'm here every time the doors are open. Does not the wind come in every time the door opens? What good is being here when you are not obeying the law of love? I don't need for you to be here. I need you to do. Be obedient, my child, and you shall flourish in 2017. Lord, please forgive me of my fear of safe ways. And not taking consideration. No harm. Forgive me, Lord. Of not being obedient to your word. Forgive me for being a hero only and not a doer. Thank you for taking this time out to correct me. I thank you, Lord. And I give you the glory and praise. Amen.
church and if you're sitting in the back I ask you to move up forward amen come all the way up on my left on my left on my right is fine those on my left but move up amen praise God let's stand everybody and now uh, let's find Luke chapter 10 Luke gospel chapter 10 amen Luke Gospel chapter 10. And uh, how many know that that, that 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 was a true illustration? Amen. Huh? Amen. The one person you can't fool is you. Amen. You'll tell on you all the time. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You your own snitch. <laughs> Luke chapter 10. Everybody got it? All right, we're going to read, uh, let's read uh, the first, uh, uh, we're going to skip that this morning, peaches, because of time. So let's look at Luke chapter 10, and let's re read down to verse 3. Y'all got it? All right, let's read. Ready? Read. After this, the Lord, come on, read. Yes. Yes. And lambs among wolves read, do not take purse or bag or sandals and do not greet anyone on the road. Say it with me, Spirit of the Living God. Speak to me today. I'm a wise king. Pour into me, me fresh, wine. fresh wine. Remain standing. Remain standing. 
and I'm going to continue to read this. It says, when you're in our house, first say, peace to this house. If someone who promotes peace is there, your peace will rest on them. If not, it will return to you. Amen. Stay there eating and drinking whatever they give you, for the workers deserve his wages. Do not move, do not move around from house to house. When you enter a town and are well, not welcome, 